Hello kids! Get ready for an exciting journey into the world of writing dictated sentences and mastering your spelling skills. Are you ready? Yes. 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 That's the spirit. Today, we're going to make it not only fun, but also filled with valuable tips. First, grab your trusty pencils and some paper. Ready? Let's embark our word adventure. Write down this sentence. The sun is hot. Let's break it down. When you write sun, remember that it starts with the letter S. S is for sun. Can you repeat it with me? S, S is, is for, for sun. sun. Terrific. And what about cat? It begins with the letter C. C is for cat. Say it with me. C is for, C cat. Is for, cat. C is for cat. Awesome. Spelling is like a secret code, and you're the code breakers. Let's add some more tricks to our writing toolbox. Every sentence starts with a capo letter, like this big T here. T is for Tommy. Can you guess which word starts with a capo letter in this sentence? Tommy runs fast. Tommy. That's right. Now, don't forget to put a period at the end, like a little dot to tell us it's finished. What goes at the end of a sentence? A period. A period. A period. Exactly. But wait, there's more. Let's add another tip. Make sure there's a space between words. Why do we need spaces between words? So they, so don't, they don't get, get mixed, mixed up. up. Perfect. You're getting the hang of it. Now, let's write some more sentences. But remember these tips. My mom bakes yummy cookies. Start with a capo letter, end with a period, and don't forget spaces. Great job! Let's try another one dot remember our tips. I love my dog. You're doing fantastic. Well done, everyone! You've learned how to write dictated sentences like prose. Remember those capo letters, periods, and spaces. Here's one last tip. Read your sentence aloud after writing it to make sure it sounds right. Thank, Thank you. you. That's it for today's lesson. Keep writing, keep learning, and keep having fun. See you next time.